when your car stops on the way before it even stops and it's doing jacking what do you do do you pray about it you go where no do you go to your boss in your office do you even bring it to me you go where to the mechanic are you not more educated than the mechanic most of them but he knows it if you can surrender your car to them then we need to get a lot of health education for ourselves it's a part of faith that most people don't understand so we have faith for healing we have faith for deliverance now now you need that faith in our country oh. i'm sure you know that have you uh-huh but to so even avoid going there you combine faith with wisdom because most of our doctors are going where it's painful it's painful the health sector is not is it's not existing we lost one of our protocol guys last week very painful cheerful man loving person painful very painful young man kids so we all need this faith to be very raw and then the other side as i'm saying is wisdom take care of your body tell your neighbor take care of your body the moment you notice some things in your body attend to it on time the snake you don't kill today will become a dragon tomorrow it's harder to kill a dragon when you wear a shoe now and it's paining you most of us will remove the shoe because it's paining you anytime you notice some things talk to somebody on time take a step faith without works is dead we do checks in our family i mean I, I, she did that I, I don't know my own this year because um the hospital was supposed to go to they said they were treating covid uh, 19 so i had to hold on i'm still gonna do for them she has done her own I, I told her to go feel anything go go what they take you from head to the leg and they will tell you your own situation that you need to work on now before it becomes a problem later check it up that's why we service our vehicles isn't it now if you are 40 and above it's mandatory but even if you're not 40 you can be going to do some tests check your blood pressure check, check your blood sugar it's not that you're afraid of satan you are telling satan shut up check it i check my blood pressure in the office almost weekly there's a nurse that works around us in the office every thursday Say, Pastor Sita, daughter in the Lord. Pastor, stretch your hand. Pastor, please sit. And I'll be asking that question. Pastor, don't talk too much. I say, yes, yes, ma'am. And the jacket. Some of you need to do it this week. Eh? This week, you call the person today and see them on Tuesday and sit down. Let them check your blood, check your eyes. They check my eyes. They gave you something to read. They put it at far. Far! What did you see? X, Y. I said, Why are you doing that? To check whether you can see, see properly. Check your nose, check your ears. They check. I didn't like that one. It was a lady. I lay down up so soon. She called me pastor. And she... <clears throat> I said, sorry, sir. And they brought us, everything is fine. They take it like this. Check it, check it, check it. Because <laughs> of check up. But if, if you do that once in a year, it's okay. So you are releasing your faith. When I have anything in my body, I first declare against it. In the name of Jesus, by stripes I'm healed. And I speak to the leg to arrange itself. And most of the times, before the week runs out, it's gone. But when the Holy Ghost begins to nudge your heart to talk to a practitioner, don't delay. God will help us in Jesus' name. Hi, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.